What is going on guys, my is 4 gr on this channel, Mr. Supply Drops. Today I just wanted to make a quick video going over the Prestige mode in Call of Duty because it seems like today with the MW3 2023 beta, we have some leaked images of the Prestige emblems and the way that it's set up is basically proving the fact that we are going to have another beautiful year of the seasonal prestige system. Now, okay, I'll give it to them. It is a little bit better than it used to be with Modern Warfare 2019. In Modern Warfare 2019, it only went up to level 155, and it absolutely sucked. There was nothing unique about that. It just reset back to level 55. You go up another 100 levels every single season. You get the same emblem every single time. It was boring. It was trash. Then in Cold War, they improved it a bit. They actually added prestige emblems and a prestige shop so that you could every time you went up 50 levels you would get a prestige key which you could then spend on a emblem a specific emblem from an older call of duty game it was it had pretty much every single call of duty uh you know emblem wise except for some of the zombie ones unfortunately i really wish they had the black ops 2 the shotgun emblems shotgun emblems um would be amazing to see but they never added that unfortunately um but Either way, they improved it a lot, okay? But at the end of the day, it's still reset. You went up four prestiges every single season. You got to level 200, so you started at level one, then you went up to 200, then you got the prestige master for that season, and then after the season ended, it would reset again, and it was just a mess, bro. It was a joke. Yeah, it saved which prestige you hit the, from the last season, but even if you went up to like, uh, let's say level 49 of that season, you would just not get to the next you just reset basically so 49 levels just gone into nothingness because it would reset and you wouldn't actually have ended up getting to level 50 to get to that next prestige okay they did that in vanguard as well luckily in modern warfare 2 2022 they did in fact improve it they made it so it did not reset anymore there's no there's no prestige master for that season which is actually a good thing because it meant that we had to reset every goddamn season um which is crazy because by the way um uh, if you played that game black ops cold War or vanguard it went up to level a thousand every season so if you you start at level one and got to level a thousand bro that you grind it a lot like you could have gotten to like the equivalent of prestige master in an old call of duty game but yet you got reset in the next season like, that's just, just, like, what? The highest I've ever gotten was level 500 because of uh, I was trying to get the Black Ops 1 15th Prestige Emblem, and that's the only way you could have gotten it back then before they changed the system where you have to actually... Uh, it's a consistent system now um, because there's no more seasons in those games, so they made it so that, yeah, you just keep leveling up at this point. It's way better like that, honestly, than it was when the game was new, which is stupid. It shouldn't be like that. It should be... The better system should be in place when the game launches. But anyways, um, it's, uh, Model 2 2022, too, like I said, they did improve it a little bit. When the game launched, it was still depressing. It was still, you only go up to level 55, and there's nothing you could do after that until season one. So I just ended up not even rushing to level 55, whereas in a previous Call of Duty game with actually as a prestige mode, I would have been so excited to keep grinding, keep playing the game, um, and just as soon as a new Call of Duty game comes out, grind, grind, grind. But because of this seasonal prestige system, I would not do that, man. I would just sit there at level like 45 thinking damn dude there's only 10 more levels i can grind up i'm just gonna play something else instead while i wait i'm not gonna pressure myself into finishing this which pressuring myself to finishing that in call of duty in the previous games was fun man it was fun to try to rush and get to the highest levels fast as i could i mean either way i never did it actually fast like some people where they got to prestige master in like a month and i could never do that personally um which is why I loved it so much. It lasted so long. I didn't get to Prestige Master in these games until like March of that next year of when the Call of Duty game came out. So like, it took me a good four or five months at least. And that was on good Call of Duty games like Black Ops 2. Black Ops 3 even, uh, I still, there was, a, there was a thousand levels added to that once you got to Prestige Master, which by the way, I think that was the absolute perfect system because you got the 10 prestiges where you actually reset. And then you got all the way up to a level a thousand, which even me, I grinded like an absolute shit ton on that game bro i still only got up to level 500 prestige master in that game and every 100 levels in that game you got a brand new prestige emblem or you got uh, a couple different emblems to choose from that were new uh or not new specifically but they were from older call of duty games but they were new for black ops 3 you know um and it was pretty awesome you got to level 1000 you got the 15th prestige black ops 1 emblem and if you were rocking that man you knew you were a true grinder i never could get that man i could never get that it's way too much of a grind but i would be completely fine with them doing that i think that would be awesome Awesome to see that added back in the game a nice prestige mode all the way up to level a thousand that'd be great um because the way it works now is 
you can go up to level 1000, but uh, first of all, they cap it every single season. So if you get to the certain cap, whatever it may be, if you get to the cap, let's say it's Prestige 8, we're in like second season or whatever, so it's like Prestige 8 by this point, right? Uh, you get stuck at Prestige 8. Nothing you can do. You can't get past Prestige 8. You just sit there, wasting XP, wasting time, so you don't want to play. And that's fucking boring! Why would you want people to not play your game, Activision? I know why. It's some manipulative tactic, which is so annoying. It's so bad. Get rid of that, man. Get rid of that system. Okay, we don't want seasonal prestige. Who is getting on Call of Duty to grind their seasonal system? Who is this for? And actually wants to do that. Who's thinking like, damn, that is a fun thing to do. Nobody. Like, if you think that you clearly only played like Modern Warfare 2019 and newer, you've never played any of these old Call of Duty games. And even if you did, and you say, oh, but, but I started at this Call of Duty game, like Black Ops 2, you were probably like a fucking baby at that point, bro. So I don't even think that counts, all right? That does not count. Goddamn. Uh, even I started Call of Duty when I was at least 10 years old, all right? 10 years old. At least I could comprehend what the hell was going on. I could comprehend what a prestige was. Um, but anyways, not to shit on the new Call of Duty players, but I'm just saying, like, seasonal prestige is boring, man. And uh, if you've never got to experience an OG traditional prestige mode, I definitely uh, I feel bad for you because that <laughs> that was some fun time, man. That was some fun times. That is the equivalent of like the camo grind, except it was so much more interesting because once you get the camo in this game, it's like what's there to do. Whereas with the prestige emblems and stuff, I don't know. Like even some people could reset. You could reset your stats and go to level one if you wanted to again after you're getting pre prestige master. I mean, I never did that. You're crazy to do that. But I mean, you had the option to do it. Nothing you can do about that now, right? And it's just. It's just sad, man. Nowadays, like I said, it's a little bit better. Okay, sure, it's better, but that doesn't mean it's good. Uh, it's better because you can just keep leveling up. And for me right now, because I didn't play very much for the last couple seasons, I'm at Prestige 8 um, or 9, I don't remember. But either way, the fact that I don't remember shows you how little it matters. <laughs> because I would definitely, in a previous Call of Duty game, know what Prestige I am. Um, like even Black Ops 4, I remember I ended on Prestige 8. I got Dark Matter, and I got out of that game. I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> it was a fun game, but man, I, trying to complete Dark Matter and grinding that game when uh, there's all these nerds running around with the VMP at that point in time, man, no thank you. Everyone got gunships in the air. No thank you. No thank you. Um, but yeah, maybe one day I'll go back to that game, but the only reason I haven't is because I don't have PS Plus and I refuse to pay for it. At the end of the day, though, um, this prestige system is trash, and now we gotta keep in mind that this is possibly just a placeholder. Maybe it's just because it's from Modern Warfare 2 2022, and they are going to have something new, some new system in place it's not going to be exactly the same but i just highly doubt it they copied black ops cold wars system they didn't really innovate on it they just added some new emblems that's it they didn't innovate on that system um and they didn't they're probably not going to innovate on this one either it's probably going to be exactly the same as mw2 2022 which is a damn shame because this is a really fun call of duty game from what i've played so far and it's a it would be nice to see uh, an actual prestige mode not to mention this is supposed to be a call of duty game that is a 20th anniversary cod i'm making a new video that it's going to be going out shortly after this one um but it's basically talking about how this is going to be a game that celebrates the 20th anniversary of cod at, with a whole bunch of different content from old call of duty games returning and stuff like that um which is something that would be nice why can't we get a prestige mode in this game then <laughs> like out of all games i feel like this would be one that we have because it's a uh, prestige mode was a staple in the call of duty franchise how can we not have it? The idea of resetting your stats after getting to level 55 and just being able to do that made the game so fresh and fun to do, man. It was so enjoyable. It made the game so much more interesting having to relock everything instead of having absolutely everything just keeps you keep leveling up everything. It's just like nothing. It's the same thing every time you get on the game, man. It's not fun. It's why games like Hunt Showdown keep my attention. They have a prestige mode and they have a battle pass. We don't have to sacrifice one for the other. It's the same thing as with Overwatch, man. They completely got rid of the portrait system. What a damn shame. <laughs> Honestly, another Activision Blizzard game, by the way. Activision owns uh, Call of Duty and they own Overwatch and they ruined both the progression system. Why? So that people focus on the seasonal battle pass system and so they can manipulate more players into completely just playing their game and spending money on skin bundles and that's why I have a problem with skin bundles. People want to say it's just cosmetic. No, it's not cosmetic. Look what it resulted in. It resulted in the death of many core amazing features from old Call of Duty games that no longer exist so that they can focus on greedy business tactics to sell you more skins. And it's just so crazy that people defend it, man. It's just... 
even if you don't care about prestige mode, man, even if you don't care, it's just the idea that they removed something so that they can sell you more shit. Like, is that not just an awful thing if you think about it? Like, anyways, it's just a damn shame that they keep doing stuff like this. Uh, again, it could be a placeholder, but I just don't, I don't think so, man. I really don't think so. The link for this uh, leak is in the description. I don't believe I can show this. I should have sent that way longer, but regardless, um, yeah, it's a Twitter link and it's something that uh, I just don't think that we'll ever see the prestige mode back, but I'm still going to keep fighting for it. Even if it means just sitting here bitching in a YouTube video, man, I'm going to still keep doing it every year that they don't add a prestige mode. I'm going to complain about it because it's some bullshit and we need to see that back in the game because man like i said on hunt showdown i absolutely loved grinding the prestige mode man there's a hundred prestiges in that game don't know if i'll ever hit a hundred prestiges but that don't care it man and gives me a ton of content to just keep grinding for yes a level on a screen can make content but also a level on a screen like in modern warfare 2 2022 could make me not give a shit it really depends on how they implement it and the idea of resetting and having to re-unlock everything was very fun to me and it kept the game balanced as well because the people who who are absolute sweat lords who are running around with the best guns and everything those people typically were prestiging in old call of duty games and that meant that they wouldn't have everything unlocked constantly in the game yes eventually they would once they hit prestige master or whatever but for the first few months and everything that game would not be like that you would actually be able to enjoy the game um because people were not running around with the most overpowered guns now, how would it work for attachments if they had a prestige mode i think they should keep the attachments like your weapons don't reset or anything like that just they get relocked until you get to a certain level so like i said absolutely nothing would get locked again maybe you could prestige your weapons as well if you wanted to i don't know i wouldn't do that personally uh, i have no interest in prestiging my weapons but prestiging as a character my main account basically as it's always been in call of duty sounds like an amazing thing and i wish we had that in a recent call of duty game but anyways that's gonna wrap up this video if you guys enjoyed it like be greatly appreciated if you're new here and you like videos like this make sure that subscribe button down below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching have a great day